Mm. What's up, world? Mm. We bringing it mm. to your house or your office or your backyard or your school or wherever you think is cool tonight. We are getting it on Inferno, how Pilates. Welcome. My name is Latoya. This beautiful Cocoa Pebble is Dorothy. She and I are going to be leading you through this amazing hour of fun, fitness, and frenzy. Why the frenzy? Well, you know, you never know what's going to happen. Okay. This is going to take some props for this class. Dorothy has a resistance band. She also has two sets of hand weights. You really only need one. Now, if you do not have a set of hand weights, no stress. You can go into your pantry and grab a couple of cans. You can get some laundry bottles. You can get milk bottles, something that has a bit of weight, or you can just go without it. Perfect. Even if you don't have the band, this class is totally accessible to you. It's gonna cover your entire body, focusing on your arms. Let's start. Dorothy, please place your band on. Let's just keep the dance going. As you put your band on your legs, right above your knees, go ahead and lie down on your back. Turn your palms up to face the ceiling. Let your toes fall out to the side and just allow yourself to land. You have made an incredible choice to take care of you today. This class is going to challenge you physically it's going to strengthen you mentally, and it is going to lift your spirit. You're going to feel amazing. And the most important thing you do is breathe. Take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale out of your teeth. Shh, really sharp. So good. Inhale through your nose. Feel the whole body rise. Exhale. Shh. This is where you get to really squeeze everything in to the midline. One more together, inhale, exhale. Nice. Welcome to your mat. Let's do this. Bend your knees, please. Place your feet on the floor to start hip width distance. Turn your palms down, arms by your side. You're going to prepare for your glute bridges. Push your heels down and lift your toes. Pull the balls of your feet off the ground so only your heels touch. Press your knees out just a bit so your band is nice and tight. If you don't have a band, knees no wider than your hips. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, tuck, curl, and lift your hips up as high as you can. Good. Drive through your heels. Push through your palms. Breathe in. Exhale, slowly come down one vertebra at a time. Hover at the bottom. One more here. Inhale. Exhale, tuck, curl, and lift. Good. Really push through your arms. Yeah. Come up one more inch, Dorothy. Come up two more inches at home. Oh, that's right. Breathe in. Exhale, come down all the way to the floor. Good. There is going to be a little surprise in your glute bridge series today. You're going to need to use your hand weights. So Dorothy, go ahead and roll up and grab a set, whatever weight you choose, totally fine. Place one up by your right shoulder, one by your left shoulder. Yeah, and then just leave those there. Bring your arms down by the side of your body. You are going to start with your regular glute bridges. Heels down, toes up, arms down by your side. Hey, DJ, yeah. can you drop that weight? Boom. Ooh, that's an explosion. Here we go. It's up and down. Raise your hips. Three, two, one, go. Up, down. Up, down. Little balloon up for you, Dorothy. Yeah. Right there, girl. I know what you like. It's up, down. Up, down. Yeah, you're moving. You are grooving. Breathe. Get it. Exhale at the top. Shh. Nice and loud. Shh. Let me hear it. Shh. That's it. It's up, down, up, down. Good. Press out into your knees so the band stays tight. You got five more. Four. Heels down. Three. Toes up. Two. Right here. Last one. Freeze. Going 
going into knee poses, pressing out, three, two, one, go, out, 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 yes, in these knee poses, your hips stay at the highest level possible, that's right, they do, you are working the outside of your hips, muscles, yes, you are, so good, keep it going, Push knees out. Yes. It is absolutely okay. I give you full permission to smile and enjoy this workout. Yeah. There it is. We got five, four, three, two, freeze. Take it into hip pulses. Set, go. Up, 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 up. Yes. Lift it. Breathe it. Firing through your glutes right here. Your glute muscles, your booty, your tush, it is used in everything you do. From standing to sitting to walking. That's right. It's even good for looking at. Keep it tight. Breathe out. Lift it. Get it. We're going 10 more. Nine. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, bring it down. There you go. Shake it out. Hug in your knees if you need to. Now set it up. Skull crush, crush, crushers. Skull crushers coming in with your bridges. Dorothy, just show what a skull crusher looks like real quick. She's going to set her hands by her ears. Elbows point up to the sky. As the hips lift, the arms come up. As the hips go down, the arms lower. Good. Start at the bottom. Set it up. Three, two, one. It's up, down, up, down. Good. Up, down, up, down. Now your elbows stay nice and tight as you lift and lower. Resist letting them wing out. It's exactly what you're trying to do with your legs. Not letting them come out wide stance. No, no, no. Keep it hip width. Bring it up, down, up, down. Good. Heels are still the only part of your feet that are touching the ground. This is to fire even more for your hamstrings. Yeah. You are doing incredible. Lift. Lift. Here we go. Three more. Two. One. Go ahead. Keep your hips down. Bring your arms down. Hips stay up. Freeze it right there, Dorothy. Let your weights go. Arms down by your side. Palms flat. Knee pulses set. Go. It's out. 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 That's right. Give your arms a little break here. It's perfect. Very subtle movements here. What you're really focusing on more is the push out rather than letting your knees come in close. Keep wide in your legs. The smaller your distance, the bigger your impact. Yeah. Push into your arms. Get those hips up. Here we go. It's five, four, three, two, hold it. Hip pulses, set, go. Up, 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 up. You're rocking it. Yes. Now as Dorothy presses down into the arms, the tricep muscles should tighten strongly to the bone. This is help supporting you to keep your hips nice and high. Uh-huh. Yeah. Can we get those toes up just a little bit more? Yes, you can go. Ten. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Come down. Shake it out. There it is. Taking it to the last round of bridges here. You're going to combine your hip with bridges with a press. Grab your weights. Oh, you got it, girl. This time, arms in close 90 degree angles. Elbows touch your body. Yes. And you're just going to press your arms up. As you bring them down. There you go. Set it up to the bottom. Three, two, one, go. It's up, 
down, up, down. Exhale, breathe in, lift, lower. Nice job. So good. This is such coordination. Can you believe how awesome you are right now? You are breathing, you're pressing in your arms, lifting in your hips, and you're having a great time while you're doing it. That's called multifunctional fitness, baby. Right there. Yes. Give me five more here. Four. Three. Weights will come down after these. Two. Hold the bridge. Bring the arms down by your side. Palms flat. Knee pulses. Set. Go. Out. 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 Good. Some of you may remember that dance move. What was it? Is it the butterfly? Yeah. That's right. Same thing you're working here. Those outer hip muscles. Remember the one leg? Back in the day, this was the tits roll before it was the stanky leg. Don't know anything about that. Know about that cabbage patch though? What? This is dance hit though. That's coming later. All right now we got Inferno. Yes. Get it. Go knees. Five, four, three, two, hold it. Hip pulse, go. It's up, 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 up. This is your last round of hip pulses, friends. You take it all the way through with breath, with form, with intention. Get it. Up, 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 up. Nice. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one. Come down. Woo -hoo! You can hug your knees into your chest or you can shake out your legs. Awesome job. Keep your band on. And just if you need to, you can roll up and grab a little bit of water. You're moving on into your first section of abs. What you're going to do to start our banded biceps. Take your band and shimmy it down around the arches of your feet. Oh yeah! Then bring your legs into a 90 degree position. We call this tabletop. Knees above your hips, shins parallel. Notice that Dorothy's feet are flexed and there's hip width distance, so the band is tight. Bring your hands behind your head, keep your elbows out wide, and keep your weights close to you because those are coming in as well. You're gonna just bend your bicycle, crisscrossing arm and leg, in three, two, one, go. Yes, very good. The timer has started. You have 30 seconds, and then you're gonna go into a weighted sit-up. For the expanded bicycles, knees stop right above your hips, exactly where you set it up in the beginning. Open your elbows wide. Yeah. Rock it. Get that oblique twist. Change. Place your feet on the floor. Keep the band there. Grab your weights. Bring your arms over your head. And you're just going to sit up. Three, two, one, go. At your pace. Nice, Dorothy. Right into it. Good. You can bring your arms down towards your feet as you sit up like Dorothy's doing, or you can stretch your arms over your legs, like you're punching straight out as you sit up. Yeah! You want to add a little bit more? Once you sit all the way up, bring your arms straight up overhead. Get it! One more in. Change. Going into a Russian twist. Stay right there. Seated the position. There you go. Keep your feet on the floor. Heels down, toes up. Weights at your chest. You twist, set, go. Good. More oblique action here, just like your banded bicycles. So you are training muscles just a little bit different way. Yeah. Notice how Dorothy is following her weights with her head. So she gets that full oblique twist. Change. Straighten your legs out in front of you. Stay seated. You're going into an overhead tricep extension. Good. You can do this with two weights or one. Set. Go. It's up and down. Up and down. This was your skull crusher. What? Now you're doing it in a seated version.
action. Working your triceps muscles. What's up? You got sums out, guts out coming full. You gotta get ready. This is the end of your first round. Change, lie down on your back from your banded bicycle. Starting all the way at the top. Three, two, one, go. Yeah, keep those elbows out wide. Flex your feet. Keep the band nice and tight. Legs hip width distance. You are pushing the band away as you pull your knee in. Good. If you want to go the pace, you can twist and reset the center as well. Change. Weighted sit-ups are next. Grab your weights. Three, two, go. Oh, she went for that number one spot. She was like, I'm leveling it up, yo. This is upward spiral time. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Good. Strong exhale right as you push those weights up. Yeah. At home, you are cook, 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 crush it. Get it. Go. Russian twist is coming up in just a moment. Get that in. Change. Stay seated. Weights at your chest. Three, two, one, go. So you have 30 seconds here in your Tabata where you are going at a pace that you can maintain. Five seconds in between to rest and transition. If you need more time, take it. But here's the thing. You want to stay with us. Don't leave. Yeah, you're killing it. Overhead tricep extension is coming up next. You're going to stay seated. Change. Just extend your legs out. Raise your arms up. Elbows in. And go. It's up. Down. Up. Down. It's a nice controlled pace here. In this second round, your muscles are like, okay, I got this. So if you want to go a little faster, you can go up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. You just have a few more seconds left, and then you're going one more time through. Get it in. Keep it going. Change. Lie down. Banded bicycles are coming up. Three, two, one, go. Very nice. Look at Dorothy, look at that face. She is winking, she is moving. Her cheeks are as rosy as that beautiful raspberry shark. She's getting circulation and so are you. Your body is loving it. Weighted sit-ups are coming. Keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it, keep it going. Change, feet down. Grab your weights, set it up. Three, two, one, go. Take this pose. Yep. Get it, Dorothy. It is absolutely okay. You just want to bring your arms by your side or punch straight out. If sitting up is like, <gasps> bring your feet out a little bit further away, press down through your heels, and just do the best you can. You already showed up. That's the hardest part. Keep it going. Get this last one in with a Russian twist. Change. Stay seated. Three, two, one, go. You are twisting. Twisting. Oh. It is Hurricane. Insert your name. You are coming through with this twisty twist. A little cyclone action. Turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it, turn it. Get it. Get it. Yes! Finishing this round here. Last one is the overhead tricep extension. It is coming in just a moment. Change, stay seated, legs straight, arms up, and go. Rocking it. You feel that dew on your brow or your upper lip? That's your hard work coming out of your body. That is the proof that what you are doing it's working. It's worth it. Keep going. Oh, good, 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 good. You got a big treat coming up next. You're going to love this. Change. That is the end for now. Push your weights down. 
Keep your band there. Oh, see, even she does that. But you will want to grab some water. What's coming next, you ask? I'll tell you. You're going to go through similar exercises. You're going to start banded bicycles, and you're going to go into a crunch. Uh huh. You're going to go into windshield wipers. Don't worry, I'm talking through all of this. The last will be tricep dips. Same style. Four movements, three rounds, to body style. Let's set it up. Band is around your feet, light on your back, legs to the top. Good. You've already got your weights there. You are set. Three, two, go. Yeah. Very good. This is a total today of six rounds of banded biceps. This is the halfway point. Guess what? Your muscles are fired up. They are rockets. Here's what you can improve your endurance. You can go a little faster. You can take a little quicker. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Change. Stay on your back. Legs stay tabletop position. Hands stay behind the ears and you just crunch up. Set. Go. Yeah. Now, not only are you working your abdominal muscles, rectus abdominis is your show muscles, your six pack. You're also keeping tension in your legs here by making sure your band, if you're using it, doesn't go slack. This is working on your outer leg muscles, your focus. Change. Good. Lie on your back. Bring your legs up to the ceiling. You can keep your weights there. Good. Your arms can be out like a cactus. Good. Push your heels out just a bit so your band is tight. Then drop your legs over to the right side as low as you can. Bring it back to center. And then over to the left. As you lower your legs, you're trying not to let your upper body come off the floor. So, you must push down into your arms and upper body and bring your legs out as far as you can. It's okay if they don't touch the floor. Change, bend your knees, put your feet on the floor, push yourself up to a seated position, tricep dips. Turn your fingers forward, push your hips up, yep. Make small bends in your elbows and go. Little dips. Push down through your heels, Lift your toes and breathe. You got a lot of work here in your triceps today. So when we get to the standing series, easy peasy, post cheesy. They ready? Change right at the top. Banded bicycles coming up. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Rather than bringing your elbow to actually touch your knee where the arm plans in, open up your elbows wide. Yeah. Give a nice opening for your chest and lift your upper body to pull your shoulder, shoulder towards your knee. It may not touch and that's okay. Change. Stay there for crunches. Your legs are tabletop, elbows wide, set, go. It's up and down, up and down. It's the exact same thing you're trying to do with the bicycle. Elbows wide. Set your eyes on one point. Make this less about your head and more lift from your chest. See that chest pump? Ooh. You ain't no chicken head. You like Beyonce, just up here, pop it in, pop it in, pop it in. Get it. Change, stay on the floor, lights up. Windshield wipers coming. Three, two, one, go. If you're tighter in your legs, you're a normal human being. You might be sitting more these days than you usually are. So bend your knees a little bit. This still can be done with knees bent. As you bring your legs right, left, pulling tight through your body, belly bending in towards your backbone. You think about anchoring your hips, pushing into the floor, pushing your upper back, and hopefully the legs are moving. Yep. Change, tricep dips. Set yourself up. How you doing, Dorothy? Awesome, how are you? Awesome, I'm, I'm killing it, I'm just chilling. Here we go, set, go, 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 go. Check it out, friends. You have got one more time through all of this, and then you say, 
Peace out, abs. Drop the mic. Exit stage left. Get it. Get it. Nice, Dorothy. Pull those elbows in. Change. Lie down. Banded bicycles. Three, two, go. Get it. She is a beast. So are you. You got this. Remember that your exhale is one of your greatest tools. It is a tool just like your hand weights, just like your resistance bands. When you exhale sharply, it's going to help even more the attraction of your dog muscles. It's going to help you stay focused. Change. Crunches. Legs stay there. Hands stay there. Set. Go, crunch it up. Yeah. Elbows out of the bench. Yeah, Dorothy. As you crunch up, belly comes in. Pull in tight, like you are squeezing your hand around a sponge, or bracing, or punching your belly. Hopefully, that's not really happening. No point now. Change, legs up, windshield wipers, three, cactus your arms, two, get ready, go! So good. Last time through. Can you get your legs an inch lower to the floor? I know you can. I know 100% you can. You've already carved a strong path, now you just explore a little more. That's it. You got this. Here we go. Change. Drop it down. Last round. Tricep dips. Three, two, one. Rock it. All good. Coming up in just a moment. You're going to have a short break to grab water. So bust this out. Get it. Get it. Stay with it. Do the dip, do the dip, dip it, dip, dip, dip it, dip, 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 change. There you go. Go ahead and take that band off. It has served you well. Congratulations, you are done with it. Place it to the side, grab some water, and whenever you're ready, you're going to stand up. Moving into your standing series, you have a stationary lunge with a press. You're going to stay on one side of your body, and we're going to go through this movement. How you're going to find your best lunge position is once you stand up and you have your weights in your hand, so go ahead and do that. She's already there. Step your right leg out in front of you. Yeah, do your right leg. There you go. And bend your knee. All the way down to the ground. Yeah, so she's going to start here. Notice that her body stays stacked. The hip is right above the knee. So tuck your left toes with the and push up to your lunge and then down. Notice that her front knee stays stacked above her ankle. Now you're going to add the press. Rock your weight to your shoulders. As you come up for your lunge, press up and then down. Start. You're already in it. Yeah, why not? Breathe out at the top. Shh. Very good. Yeah. So we are really going to focus on your arms today. So that you can lift all of your groceries yourself. You can take only one trip. We got time to be going back to the car up and downstairs in 90 degrees or whatever weather you're in. It ain't worth it. This stance is going to stay and you're just going to hold it with a bicep curl for your next round. Change. Yep. Stay low in your lunge. Bring your hands out in front of you, palms up. Set, go. It's just in and out. In and out. If you need a little break in your legs after that lunge, you can always drop your left knee down and you can stay there. Perfect. Good. Elbows in close to the body. Pull your shoulders down your back. Drill in tight through your belly. Coming up next, you have a warrior three stance. Bring your weaker yogis out there. That's basically a balancing stick. Change. So push off your left foot and raise your left leg up. Bring your arms by your side and you're going into a tricep kickback. Set, go. Now Dorothy got in that fairly quickly. 
If you're having some struggle with balance, it's fine. The biggest tool I can give you is to focus your eyes on one spot. Don't move your eyes. Don't blink your eyes. Yes. Keep it going. Kick it back. Good. Change. Come down into a high plank form. You don't need your weights. Good. You're just going to hold your plank here for just about 15 seconds. When I say go, you're going to pull your right knee to your nose and then extend back. And then left knee to your nose and extend your leg. Yes. Here it is. Three, two, go. Good. Perfect. You just hold up there. Why not? Can you bring your head and your knee a little bit closer? Yeah, you got it, D. Change. Going back into your stationary lunge. Stand up. Oh, you have time. Don't worry, listen. It's called on the fly teaching. We can figure it out. Your left leg, again, is behind you. Same leg, same stance. Stand up. Set. Go. Here's the thing. We want to, for lack of a better word, exhaust one side of your body. Work it what's called unilaterally. Because it's great when you're doing simultaneous movements. When you are working one side, you are building and equalizing your strength. Change. Hold that lunge down. Get ready for your bicep curl. And go in and out. In and out. In and out. In and out. You want to add a little bit more with your legs? Drop that back knee down to just a small hover. Yeah. Push your left heel a little bit forward over the ball of your foot. Get it. Squeeze into your left foot. Open up to that hip flexor. Warrior three tricep kickback is coming. Change. Push off of your left foot. Lift your left leg. Arms by your side. Set. Go. Yeah. Now, if you can get your chest down a little bit lower, yo -ho -ho! you are adding a little bit of cardiovascular. Yes. Neck nice and long. You can point your toes. You can flex your feet. You can move your body to the funky beat. If you don't want to do the movement, I don't care as long as you're grooving. Get it. Get, 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 get it. The plank knee tuck is coming up. Change. Drop your left foot. Set your waist down. High plank position. Set. Go. Hold it here static for 15 seconds. And then you're going to bring your left knee to your nose and hold that for 15 seconds. Right now, get your weight a little bit forward. Heels above the toes. Shoulders stacked above your wrists. Set. Go. Left knee to nose. Hold. Make it touch, make it touch, make it touch, make it touch, touch. Kiss that knee, kiss that knee, and touch it. Breathe. Change, stand up. Last time through here. That stationary lunge, left leg back, right leg step forward, press it up, go. Very good. So nice. Breathe. One. Yeah. Shh. Good. Must squeeze it tight for your stomach. You got this. You are a warrior. Get it. Get it. A few more seconds. In your static hold of the bicep curl. Change. Stay in your lunge. Hands up front, palms face up. Set. Go. In. Out. In. Out. Breathe. Nice. How many of you kind of stopped working out and you're just dancing now? I'd be 100% in with that. You can try one of our new classes on our YouTube channel. The Dance Hit. Get it! Led by this beautiful woman here who is absolutely crushing it. Change. Warrior three. Tricep kickback. You got it, Dorothy. Let's do it. Look at that face. Go. She's 100% committed to her health. To her wellness, get it. Do it nice. Can you bring your hands up just a little bit higher than your lower back? Yep. As you extend the arm, can you squeeze your triceps here? Look how she just laughs. That's right. What's so funny to it? You fall out, guess what? You're human. Get right back in, try it again. Change. Or not, whatever. Come down for your high plank. This time, you're going to be hold for 15 seconds, starting now, and then you're going to alternate right knee, left knee, to 
knows. I'll tell you when it's time. Almost there. Three, two, go. Keep it going. Step that back, bring your left hand. Yep, alternate. Get it, girl. Get it. Get it. Get it. Get it. Woo! Change. Come down onto your knees. Grab yourself some water. While you're at it, give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah, you're still here. You haven't gone to your pantry and gotten your snacks. No, no, no. You're not sitting on your couch watching Netflix. No, no, no. You are right here where you belong. Doing it, babe. Coming up. Believe it or not, there's some cardio. So be great. Grab your set of weights and stand up. Meet me at the top. You're going into a squat upright row. Your feet are going to be just a little outside of your hips. Turn your toes out slightly, making space for you to sit down. Start with your weights right in front of you, palms toward your thighs. You're going to sit and then pull up like you're pulling up your trousers. Set, go. I like you're zipping up your pants. Yeah. There you go. Look at that smile. Now sit down as low as you can. Yep. You're going to pair this with 30 seconds of mountain climbers. And then guess what? You get 30 seconds of rest. There you go. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday. What is it? Flag day? I don't know. Whatever holiday you're celebrating next. Get it. Get it. Change. Make your way down to the floor. Set up in high plank. You've already been here. Three, two, one, go. It's elbow to knee. I mean knee to your elbow. Yes. That's the way you do it. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Pull it in. Good. This is arms. This is body. This is abs. This is everything together. Keep it going. The rest is coming in less than 10 seconds. Three. Change. Sit back. Hips on your heels. Take rest here. 30 seconds. You actually get that five seconds of intermittent rest, so it's 35. What? How are you feeling? Doing all right? Breathing a little bit heavy? Good. Feeling awesome? Great. If you're not, we need to look at hydration. Getting yourself some fuel before class so you have something to get through your workout. For now, you're in it. No turning back. Stand up. Get ready for your squat with the upright row. It's coming back. Three, two, one, go. Yeah. Yes. Fabulous. Sit all the way down. If your weights touch the floor, that's fine. If they don't, it's okay. You reach down, but as you do, keep the chest up. The weights are going to want to pull it around you. Don't do it. Don't you do it. Mountain climbers are coming. Change. Set your waist down. In high plank position. Three, two, one, go. Now, Dorothy, I want you to show them a little bit slower version. Like, really pull me in. Yeah. So you can always slow it down. It doesn't have to be super high speed. Where you're looking for more is form. Drop the booty down just a bit. And bring the shoulders above or slightly forward your wrists. Palms flat. Less than five seconds here. Then you get to rest. Yep. Change. Come down onto your knees. Sit down. Perfect time if you need to grab a little sip of water. Great. Is it just me? Doing awesome. Is this so? How are you feeling, Dorothy? Feeling sweaty. Ooh, sweaty. She is sweat junkie. What? 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 Here we go. You got 15 seconds. You can stand up. Yeah. Why not get ready? We can dance a little bit together. Move the shoulders. Now it's for real. Let's set it up. Last round. Squat with the upright row. Going in. Three, two, one. Go! Pull it all the way up. Yep. Drive your knees out as you sit and stand to push your hips back and down as low 
low as you can. Feel it. Inner thighs. Your glutes. Hamstrings. Yep. Well, about five seconds left. Then you're going into your mountain climbers. Change. Set your waist down gently. Find your high plank form. Three, two, one, go. Keep your eyes just to the top of your fingers. So your chin is intact and your head is an arch. Neck is nice and long. This is working the prone, back side of your body. It's working front side of your body. It's a great movement here. You get everything. So good. Keep it going. Change. You get to have this rest as well. Great job. You're so welcome. While you're resting, let's get your mind ready for what's coming. You've already done some of it. Just like your ab series earlier, we're going to bring in those same movements with just a little bit of tweaking. Your stationary lunge press starts because you got to get that other side. You don't want to be walking all weird, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> then you're going to hold that stationary lunge with a hammer curl. Still working your biceps, your palms face in rather than up. Then you've got a warrior three with a corkscrew. Ooh, what's up, triceps? This is a push-up. I'll tell you what that one is later. It's going to be fun. Let's start. Standing series, 30 seconds, stationary lunge. You're going to step your right leg back, left leg forward. Three, two, one, go. If you needed that extra time to find your lunge position, hope you did it. And then you join in when you're ready. This class isn't meant to be stay with me, do as I say. It's a guide. I'm basically right here with you, giving you simple cues, just trying to lead you and guide you, and you make the choice that is right for you. Yep. Change. Hold that static lunge. Sit down low. Palms face in. Hammer curl. Three, two, one, go. Ooh. A little slow man. Yeah, yes. Nice. Look at Dorothy's arm extension. When she brings out the hands, do not drop lower than your shoulders. Arms parallel with the floor. Yep. Remember, you can drop your back knee if you need a little bit of a break. Change right into that warrior three stance. Round your left foot, lift your right leg, arms up by your side, corkscrew in. Out. Good. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. Pull your shoulders down your back. <laughs> I say that. At home, I felt that. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Go. Superman push-up is coming next. I will walk you through it. Change. Come down to the floor. Get into a high plank position. Yep. Shoulders forward. Now you're going to lower all the way down to your belly. Hands off the floor. Extend your arms forward and lift your body. Legs and arms. Bring your hands by your shoulders and push yourself back up. Then lower down. All the way to your body. Extend the arms and lift and lower. Take it back into your push up. Go at your pace. Nice. And make sure when you're at the bottom with that Superman lift, it's not by cranking your head back. You lift the entire back side of your body. Finish this round. Change. Back on your feet here. Your stationary lunge. Three, two, go. Get into it as soon as you can. Now you know what's happening. Round two is starting. Ground your left foot, push into the base of your big toe. When you come down in your lunge, make sure that your knee does not go over your toes. If that's happening, make a longer stance. Change. Hold your lunge here. Hammer curl. Three, two, one, go. Whatever you're holding, whether it's weights or hands, you really think about squeezing your hands around that item. 
And if you don't have any props, you make fists and you squeeze tight to get the muscles fired up. Yeah. Palms face in. Drop the shoulders down. Change. Your warrior free stance with your core screw arms. Three, two, one. Get it. What you're trying to do is make sure your arms are not next to your body, just a little bit higher. Yep. This is really good. The triceps. Then you take it slow in, out, in, out. You have the opportunity here to open up your chest. And when you with your shoulder blades, eyes out in front of you. Change. Be good. Down to the floor. Starting high plank. Your Superman push-up. Three, two, one, go. Face down. Arms forward. Lift up. Hands back. Push up. Breathe in. Lower down. Extend. And lift. Hands back. Push it up. Take a breath. Good. Keep it going. Nice. You are just blasting through this round. That's right, you are. One more time through. Make it back up. Change. Stand yourself up with your stationary lunge. Grab your weights. Three, two, go. You got this. You are a rock star. Get it. At home or at school, wherever you are, do it. You are making it through. Excellent. Squeeze through your right glute. Butt cheek tights when you stretch through your hip flexors. Change. Hold your static lunge at the bottom. Get ready. Hammer curl. Three, two, one, go. That's right. So good. Keep your mind in the game by breathing. You stay right here with your body, right here with what you're doing. It is the most important thing that's happening in your life at this moment. You are giving back to you. Change. Going into your warrior three stance. Last time here with your corkscrew arms. Set. Rock it. Screw in. Out. In. Out. Good, a little internal rotation, external, yeah. Give your wrists some work here. Very good if you've been texting, typing, reading, writing, driving, all the angles. In just a few moments, actually now, change. Bring your leg down, set your weights down, come into your high plank to finish up with your Superman push-up, set, Go. Yes. Get it, Dean. Stay with it at home. You can do your push up on your knees if you need to lower down slow. That's totally fine. You're going to stand up and right after this, change. Grab your weights. We are finishing up here with a little bit of cardio, going into heavy pants, feet narrow stance, weights by your side. You are rocking it out. Set. Go. It's a squat, and again with a row. This time, elbows pull in with your body. Keep your back flat, chest up. Nice. Good. Mountain climbers will stay in this round. Yeah, and so does your rest. Keep it going. Listen to that breath. Keep your body moving. Change. Hands to the floor. High plank position. Mountain climber set. Go. This is it. That final push, baby. Yep, get your mind in the game. Let's do it. Pull your knees to your elbows. Get them to touch. Oh, I hear that breath kicking up. She 
system. Picked up that pace. Heavy pads come back. After this moment of rest, change. Sit down. Hips on your heels. Take your little breath. Just sit. Yep. Still breathe in through your nose. Out through the teeth. Try to breathe deep. Exhale slow. Good. One inhale. Push it all the way out. Let's keep going. Stand up. Grab your weights. Set it up for heavy pants. Feet narrow. Come down to a quarter squat. Set. Go. Little bounce. Pull. Pull. There is always a bend in your knees. What we see sometimes is this. A little bend, little bounce. You're always staying in a squat position. Elbows pull in tight versus out to the side. Yep. Chest up. A little squeeze between your shoulders. Yes. Change. Come down to the floor. Mountain climbers. Set it up. Three, two, go. Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Doing fantastic. You should feel so proud of yourself right now. You can't stop. You won't stop. Get those MTCs. 30 seconds of rest coming up. Change. Sit down. Work. You got one more time here. You got it in you? Yeah. We're going to squeeze out that last little bit and take you down the hill. Right now, again, those deep breaths. Breathe in for three, two, one, and let it out. Three, two, one, again. Inhale, two, three, exhale, two, three. Ready, grab your weights. Last time, heavy pants. Pull them up. Go. Chest up nice and tall. Good and proud. Yeah. Keep your eyes up. Strong exhale. Yes. Squeeze your hand around your prop or make tight fists. Little bounce. Hips back. Feet flat. Five seconds. Three. Change. Down to the floor. Mountain climbers. Then you done, 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 done. Set. Go. You got it. Final push here. Three. So nice. You're freaking killing it. Good job. Keep it going. Keep, keep it going. Yes, yes, yes. Three, two, one, change. Excellent job. Sit back on your heels. Take a moment here. Great. How awesome do you feel right now? That's right. You do. Like a million, billion, trillion stimulus checks in your pocket. Great job. We're slowly going to cool you down. It's going to be amazing. Just a little gentle stretch in here for your arms. Let's take it to a tricep stretch. Bring your right arm up behind your head. Palm flat on your back. Left hand to your right elbow and just guide your arm down. You can sit kneel down position. You can sit with your legs crossed. You can sit with your legs extended. Good. Throw chin up. Pull your rib cage in and down. Nice. Now squeeze your thighs together and really anchor down through your hips. Lean towards your left side. Make a little side body stretch. Very good. Breathe in. Exhale it out. On your inhale, come back to center. Release your arms and switch. Left arm up behind your back. Right hand to your elbow. Just take a moment here and guide it down. 
When we're tighter in our chest muscles or shoulders, as we bring the arms overhead, the ribs have a tendency to open or splay out. The best you can, tuck your ribs in and down and lift your chin up. Good. Nice job. Squeeze your thighs together, press your hips down, lean towards your right side. Very nice. You got it. Take a deep breath. Exhale it out. As you inhale, come back to center and bring your arms down by your side. Bring them all the way out into a wide letter T. And then cross your right arm over your chest. Bring your left arm to your upper arm. Good. Just hold and breathe here. So proud of you. It's not easy showing up on your mat, especially when there are other things calling your attention. Inhale, open. Exhale, switch. Left arm across your chest. Good. Just always remember, when you're able to take time for yourself, doesn't matter if it's an hour. It could be five minutes, 15, whatever you can spare for yourself. You're just going to fill your tanks that much more. And your day is going to be so much better. Inhale, stretch the arms out once more. Exhale, bring your arms out. Go ahead and lie down your back. We're going to take a little figure four stretch for your legs. Start with your knees bent and cross your right ankle over your left knee. Flex your right foot. Bring your thighs in towards your chest. You can interlace behind your left knee, left thigh. If you can't reach back there, totally fine. You can just use one hand to grab and use your other hand to gently guide your right knee away. Relax your shoulders, breathe in. Exhale, change. Bring your legs down to the floor, switch. Cross your left ankle over your right knee. Flex your left foot. Bring your knees towards your chest, interlock behind your right thigh. Hold it. Good stretch here for the glutes. Excellent. Deep breathing in through your nose. You can still breathe out through your teeth. Or if things are slow down, just breathe out through your mouth. Through your nose. Change. Hug both your knees into your chest. Squeeze your arms over your legs. Get into a tight little ball. Take a deep breath. Exhale, release. Let your arms and legs go long. Palms face up. Close your eyes, you little angel. You deserve this. Slow down your breathing. Give yourself a moment to just relax. You are an incredible human being. You're amazing. Thank you so much, from Dorothy and myself, for joining us. We'll see you next time.